okay good afternoon students uh, we are going to discuss today fifth unit outline of presentation unit to fifth topics then dynamics of particles displacement velocity and acceleration and their relationship so first we are going to see the topic unit to by topic dynamics of particles and rigid bodies dynamics of particles and rigid body that is unify title the topics are dynamics of particles displacement velocity and acceleration their relationship relative motion curvilinear motion projectiles impulse and momentum law of conservation of momentum types of collision collision of elastic bodies newton's law of collision of bodies coefficient of restitution okay this subject our subject name engineering mechanics our subject name engineering mechanics we know what is the definition for engineering mechanics it is a physical science it deals about the study of the body at rest or in motion okay the in engineering mechanics further classify into statics dynamics statics and dynamics what is statics study of the body at rest condition is called statics what is dynamic study of the body in moving condition is called dynamics now see the dynamics definition the dynamic is the branch of mechanics which deals with the study of bodies in motion uh, dynamics is divided into two branches called kinematics and kinetics okay kinematics is is the geometry in motion so dynamic is the branch of mechanics which deals with the study of body in motion understand is a branch of mechanics it deals with the study of body in motion then dynamics further classify into two branches kinematics and kinetics what is the dyna that is dynamics but kinematics means what is the kinematics it is the study of study of motion of bodies say when the body is moving no when body suppose the car is moving the bike is moving or cycle is moving okay the displacement velocity acceleration and time okay
Is it visible? Yes, is it visible, students? Yes, sir. Visible. Okay. Okay. Uh, dynamics is the branch of mechanics which uh, deals with the motion of the particles or body under the action of forces. Okay. Suppose if you want to move the any body, no, we want force, no, students. Suppose you want to rotate the rotate the fan. If you, you want the fan, no, then the, the power we are giving electrical power. Okay. So the power is you give the rotation motion. When the body is rotation, that is called dynamics. Any body is rotation or linear motion. Okay, we need force. Okay, dynamics, the branch of mechanics, which deals with the motion of the particles or bodies under the action of forces. Okay, then kinematics. It is the study of motion of bodies, displacement, velocity, acceleration, and time. Without considering forces. I told you, we need force to move the body. But the kinematics, without considering the force, to study about displacement, velocity, acceleration, and time. Understand? That is called kinematics. Kinetics means, it is a study of body with reference to the force which causes the motion. Okay? It is the study of the relation between the forces acting on the body, comma, the mass of the body, and the motion of the body. Kinematics means without considering forces, study about relationship between displacement, velocity, acceleration, and time. Kinetics means study of the body with considering forces, comma, mass, Comma velocity, comma acceleration, comma time, everything. That is the difference. Kinematics and kinetics. Understand? Then we discussed. The electrolinear motion. What is electrolinear motion? Particle is your body, the point, point of object moving along a straight line is called rectilinear motion. Okay? Suppose the car is moving on the road, straight line path. This is called rectilinear motion. The body moving in a straight line path is called rectilinear motion. Then some important terms. We already know the, the, na the name. We are always uh, telling, no? Speed, uh, velocity. Okay? Uh, what is the difference between speed and velocity? Can anyone tell me? What is the difference between uh, velocity and uh, speed? Any one of you? What is the difference, velocity and speed? Speed of the body may be defined as its rate of change of displacement with respect to its surroundings. The speed of your body is irrespective of its direction and is the scalar quantity. Speed is a scalar quantity. It does not have direction. For best example, uh, if, if there is, is just imagine uh, there is a no on the ECR road, no ECR road. If we are in the Chennai, our college, Amit University, no. Uh, just imagine the road directly connected to the Pondicherry. The road is directly there is no curve, no there is no any side path directly. If you started from our college to the Pondicherry, no. That is its velocity because the direction. I am telling you, just imagine this Pondicherry is located direct to road, so 100 km direct road. There is no deviation, anything. There is no curve. That, that is called a velocity. So now consider the same if I am traveling from college to Vandalur Su, Sengalpattu, Tindivanam, then the other replaces, then I go, I reach the Pondicherry, no? That is called speed. Understand? That is called speed. See the next diagram. I, I, I will tell you the diagram. See the, this diagram. See this diagram. See the point A here, point B here. If I am going from point A to point B directly, okay? 
point A to point B directly. This is called velocity. If I go from from somewhere here, then I reach to point. That is called speed. Understand? Okay. There is a difference between velocity and the speed. If I go from point A to point B directly, that is called velocity. If I go from somewhere and some places, then I come to here. That is called speed. So speed is a scalar quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity. Speed does not have does not have direction. Understand? Velocity is a vector quantity. It has both direction and the magnitude. Velocity of your body may be defined as its rate of change of displacement with respect to its surrounding in a particular direction. Okay. As the velocity is always expressed in particular direction. Therefore, it is a vector quantity. Or understand? Now, what is the speed? What is the velocity? That's why we are always telling, you know, what is the speed of the vehicle? What is the speed of the car? What is the speed of the bus? But not velocity. Understand? That's why the car, we are always see the advertisement, the car speed, the aeroplane speed. Because it does not move on a direct line. It should go where some place is dumb. And any direction less than reaches some place. It's called speed. Okay. Speed is a scalar quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity. Now acceleration. Just imagine, you know acceleration. If you have bike, no, if you have a scooter or if you travel the bus, no. First initially, the driver is started with that first gear. That first gear up to some kilometer we can go, some speed only. Understand? If the driver changes the gear, gear 1 to gear 2, now speed is increases. The first gear, just imagine the speed 10 km per hour. Now he changed second gear. Now we can, the driver can move the speed 10 to 20. So accelerate, this is called acceleration. Then with third gear, uh, 20 to 30. Fourth gear, if you change fourth gear, now there is after 50, 60, 100, you can go up to 100 km like that. So acceleration means acceleration of your body may be defined as the rate of change of its velocity. Acceleration of body may be defined as the rate of change of its velocity. It is said to be positive when the velocity of the body increases with the time. That is called acceleration. Students, if I am changing gear 1 to gear 2, then gear 2 to gear 3, the speed also increases. With respect to time, the velocity increases. That is called acceleration. If I am coming from fourth gear to third gear, then third gear to second gear, then second gear to first gear, what will happen? The speed reduces. It is called negative acceleration. Negative acceleration or retardation. This is called a negative acceleration. Students, are you understand what is the difference between acceleration and deceleration? If the, if, if the speed increases, or velocity increases with respect to time, is called acceleration. If the speed or velocity decreases with respect to time is called a retardation or negative acceleration. Suppose we are applying brake, no? Suppose we are moving 100 km per hour. Applying brake, no? The speed reduces. That is called a retardation. Therefore, the negative 
acceleration is also called retardation in general in the term acceleration is used to denote the rate of rate at which velocity is changing it may be uniform or variable okay understand what is negative acceleration it's the negative acceleration means it's called retardation the speed, speed change with respect to time decreases with time is called negative acceleration then uniform acceleration if the body moves in such a way then its velocity changes in equal magnitude in equal interval of time it is said to be moving with uniform acceleration uh, just imagine what is uniform acceleration uh, uh, suppose you are having sometime scooter you know uh, scooter now uh, there is no gear without the gear you can't suddenly go to 60 km per hour no gradually increasing uniformly accelerated that is called suppose the uh, suppose 10 km per hour you are changing 15 km slowly you are applying then 15 to 20 what is the time taken for 10 km to 15 km the same time taken for 15 to 20 that is called uniform acceleration okay if the body moves in such a way then its velocity changes in equal magnitudes in equal interval time it is said to be moving the uniform acceleration variable acceleration if a body moves in such a way that the velocity changes in unequal magnitudes in in equal interval time it is said to be moving variable acceleration sometime you are seeing in the road no suddenly you apply in the brake suddenly increases very very say heavy noise coming in the road some fellow no the school, their modified bike no that is kawasaki sometime students or college students or local fellows always suddenly increases the this is very black station understand then distance traveled distance traveled how much distance you traveled distance it is the total distance moved by a body mathematically if the body is moving with uniform velocity uniform velocity velocity is not velocity is constant uniform velocity means velocity constant therefore distance uh, covered equal to s equal to velocity into time here v means velocity understand so distance traveled it is the total distance moved by a body that is s equal to distance equal to velocity into time now see here motion under uniform acceleration uniform acceleration means you know we are first gear we are starting second gear we are slowly only increases speed no that is uniform acceleration with the professional driver not jumping to second gear immediately is gradually increasing without affecting the vehicle or with the passenger no so at some time it giving after reaching speed only he changes the gear understand so motion under uniform acceleration just you consider uh, yeah, yeah, the one body the body p starting from o okay o and moving we are discussing rectilinear motion students we are discussing rectilinear motion what is rectilinear motion body moving in a straight line path body moving in a straight line path is called rectilinear motion consider the linear motion of particle starting from o moving along o x direction with the uniform acceleration as shown in figure let b some after reaching the vehicle reaching from o to b here after t seconds okay he start suppose just imagine you are traveling from you starting from here o then after over 10 seconds no or 1 minute you are reaching here at the p point see here what is a u in c velocity what is u in c velocity what is v final velocity v equal to final velocity t time in seconds taken by the particle to change its velocity from u to v okay the gear change you no know, first gear to second like that first gear to second gear the speed increase you no know, in c velocity to final velocity a equal to uniform positive acceleration uniform positive acceleration why you first you i told you know the speed increases the speed increases or velocity increases with respect time is called positive acceleration the velocity or speed decreases with the time is called negative acceleration understand then s equal to distance traveled in t seconds 
already you studied in 12th and i i think so already some students you can under you, you have studied this topic okay so what is the equation we know three equation no t equal to u plus at just you can remember now v equal to u plus at v means final velocity u means initial velocity plus a acceleration t time t equal to time then second equation s equal to u t plus of a t squared s equal to distance or displacement students s equal to distance or displacement u initial velocity t time plus half into acceleration a acceleration t time then third equation v squared equal to u squared plus 2as v squared equal to u squared plus 2as understand v equal to v means final velocity u means initial velocity a acceleration distance travel so you remember three equation students you remember three equation v equal to u plus at s equal to ut plus of at squared third equation v squared equal to u squared plus 2as this is called a uniform axis model see uniform acceleration students uniform acceleration that is velocity increases with respect to time uniform now uniform motion so uniform means a constant speed sometimes we are always you uh, know we are after reaching fourth gear we are uh, traveling you know 50 km per hour constantly you know or 100 km per hour keeping speed constant after some times that is called a uniform motion velocity constant we are not changing any gear uniform motion means velocity constant there is only one relation s equal to vt understand these three equation students these three equation for uniform acceleration uniform acceleration this only one equation uniform motion what is uniform motion velocity is constant okay that's when, whenever the, the problem they mention uniform motion you have to use these relations s equal to v into t s means distance or displacement v means don't take final velocity here 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 velocity okay initial velocity equal to final velocity into time okay now another important point we have to assume whenever the problem start with a problem starts with this way the, these statements a car starts from rest whenever these statements given the question you automatically take it start from means initial velocity no initial set for e equal to zero u equal to zero a car comes to rest a car comes to rest means what final speed so final speed what is a zero because comes to rest no so you have to take whenever this statement given a corresponding you can take it car start from rest means you take the initial velocity zero a car comes to rest in the mention the question you take final velocity zero see this is the uniform uh, see this graph no this graph represents uniform motion that is velocity constant see here velocity constant okay then this graph velocity and time acceleration decreases see the green color acceleration what is i told you what is acceleration the speed increases with respect to time that is acceleration or positive acceleration speed or velocity increases with the time it's called acceleration see here deceleration deceleration speed reduces now i told you no velocity decreases the speed or velocity decreases with respect to time is called a deceleration or negative acceleration this is a definition speed equal to distance divided by time speed equal to distance divided by time velocity equal to displacement students displacement divided by time that is velocity understand speed equal to distance divided by time speed is a scalar quantity velocity displacement divided by time vector quantity velocity no there is a velocity change in position or displacement divided by time okay 
displacement divided by time. Distance divided by time. So this definition already explained once again. Change in velocity divided by time. So what we discuss? We discuss about what is acceleration. Change in velocity divided by time. Velocity displacement divided by time. Speed distance divided by time. Difference. What is the difference? Speed and velocity. Speed is a scalar quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity. Acceleration, negative acceleration. Negative acceleration is called deceleration. Negative acceleration is called deceleration. Acceleration means what? Velocity increase or velocity or speed increase with the time is called acceleration. Velocity or speed decrease with respect is called deceleration. The car start for rest. Assume. Automatically, initial velocity is zero. Your car comes to rest. Assume always, well, the final velocity is zero. It's the relation. Uniform motion. Uniform motion is velocity constant. That is, initial velocity equal to final velocity. S equal to V into T. This is the only one equation. Uniform motion, this is the only one equation. Uniform accelerator motion. Uniform accelerator motion. There is a three equation. A V equal to u plus at s equal to ut plus half at square v square equal to u square plus 2as v means final velocity what is the velocity unit students meter per second velocity unit meter per second u in velocity what is the unit meter per second s distance distance means one dimension so no meter distance unit meter then acceleration what is unit for acceleration? Meter per second squared. Meter per second square. T time taken, seconds. So we are using this, uh, this equation for solving the problems. Okay? Students, is it visible? What you are seeing? Tell me. Students, is it visible? Students? Yes, sir. What, what um, are you are using? So the example are, problems. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Now read the question. First question. Class representative, read the first question. Example seventeen point mm one. -hmm. A car starting from rest is accelerated at the rate of zero point four meter per second square. Find the distance covered by the car in twenty seconds. Read this again. Read the question again. Read the question. A car starting from rest is accelerated at the rate of 0 0.4 meter per second square. Find the distance covered by the car in 20 seconds. Okay. I told you, you know, the car starting from rest. So you directly take initial velocity zero. Whenever the statement given, a car starts from rest. A car comes to rest, final velocity zero. See, given, see the given data, the initial velocity. This initial velocity. Understand? The initial velocity is zero. Why zero? A car starts from rest. Okay? A car starts from rest. Then, acceleration given. Acceleration equal to A equal to 0.4 meter per second. Acceleration given. They asked what is the distance covered? How much distance covered? When in the T, time T equal 20 seconds t equal to 20 seconds so in this question in velocity given that is zero then acceleration given and the time given we have three equation no students v equal to u plus at s t equal to u t plus of at squared and v squared equal to u squared plus 2 as so which equation suitable in this question they ask a distance no so the second equation distance we know s equal to u t plus half a t squared. So u, the insular zero. See, insular is not there. They thought, but the way the name, the word is mentioned. A car starting from rest. That is insular is zero. In the time 20 seconds. Okay. Plus 1 by 2. What is acceleration? 0 0.4. 0 0.4. So time 20 seconds. Therefore, s equal to 80 meter. Understand students? Any any questions?
Kavi, are you following with me? Kavi, we can. So S e equal to U T plus half eighty square. U instead of zero. Okay, therefore zero into twenty. Time given twenty seconds. Plus half into point four into twenty whole square. Eighty mm. Kavi, read the second question. Say example seventeen point two. Kavi, can you read the second question now? Sir, uh, I I cannot see the screen, sir. Class rep, are you seeing? Are you able to see in the screen now? Yes, sir. I am able to see. I think so. Some network issue here. Vikas, are you seeing the screen now? Vikas. Nivedya, can you be able to see the the this PDF? Yes, sir. Vikas. Yes, sir. Can you read the question? Second question. Example seventeen point two. A train traveling at twenty seven kilometer. Is accelerated at the rate of 0.5 meter per second square. What is the distance traveled by the train in 12 seconds? Yeah. A train, a train traveling 27 point 27 kilometer per hour. Students, 27 kilometer per hour. Okay. Uh, uh, that uh, accelerator. Uh, traveling no that is speed see the speed they mention kilometer per hour students kilometer per hour i told you what is the velocity in it meter per second meter per second how do you convert uh, kilometer per hour into meter per second just see listen 27 what is a kilometer 1 kilometer 1000 meter no therefore 27 into 1000 so kilometer becomes meter What is one hour? One hour equals how many seconds? Three thousand six hundred students. Three thousand six hundred seconds. One hour equals three thousand seconds. Three thousand six hundred seconds. Therefore, we have to convert meter per second. Yes. Created meeting notes for this meeting. Anisha, what is what is what is your doubt? Anisha Teres, what is your doubt? Okay, that for twenty-seven kilometer per hour. So twenty-seven into thousand divided by three thousand six hundred. Understand? 27 into 1000 divided by 3600. What is the value? 7.5 meter per second. So velocity given. A train traveling. That for initial velocity. The speed coming no. That for initial velocity. A train. A train traveling. That for it takes the initial velocity. 7.5 meter per second. Then acceleration. The acceleration no. A given. A equal to 0.5 meter per second squared. Time equal to 12 seconds. What is the question? What is the distance travel? Covered. Again, same equation. We know S equal to U T plus half A T squared. Understand? Seven point five into twelve plus half into point five into twelve squared. Therefore, the distance travelled equal to nine one twenty six meter. Okay? Are you understand, class rep? Any doubt in the question? Class rep, any doubt in the question? No, sir. Nivedya, are understand the question? Nivedya, Anisha, are you understand the question? This problem, how to solve? Yeah, are you understand? 
बजाज बजाज आर यू अंडरस्टैंड सर सर ओके 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 क्लास रेप जस्ट आस्क अनिसा वेदर ही सी स्कैन की सी कैन एबल टू सी द पीडीएफ और नॉट जस्ट कंफर्म इट ओके सर लास्ट क्लास ओके ओके सर now third question very simple question see we are using three equation here b equal to u plus at second equation s equal to ut plus half at squared third equation b squared equal to u squared plus 2as understand the this question the kilometer per hour given kilometer per hour how do you convert a meter per seconds kilometer per hour no speed no how do you convert meter per second 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter students 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter therefore 2.27 into 1000 divided by hour 1 hour equal to 3600 after simplification the velocity is 7.5 meter per second okay now come to here third question a scooter start from rest understand start from rest that is initial as zero Indirectly given, no. I told you, no. When the start force is take initial as zero, constant acceleration. The given acceleration, y equal to 1.2 meter per second squared. Y equal to 1.2 meter per second squared. Determines velocity. Now they ask the velocity. Students, now they ask the velocity after distance traveled 60 meter per second. After distance traveled, yes, given. So initial velocity zero. Why zero? A car start for rest. So initial velocity zero. Acceleration given 1.2 meter per second. Second square. Distance traveled. Yes. Yes equal to 60 meter. What they asked? Its velocity. That is final velocity. Students, its velocity means final velocity. So you have u, you have acceleration, you have yes. So we have three equation. No. B equal to u plus at. S equal to u t plus half at squared. B squared equal to u squared plus two s. So I am using third equation. So third equation directly suitable. Understand? B squared equal to u squared plus two s. So instead of the zero, no, okay. Plus two into one point two into sixty one forty four. Okay. Then V equal to twelve meter per second. 12 meter per second. That is the answer. They ask the velocity, no? 12 meter per second. Now they convert it kilometer per hour. No need convert. Just to keep it 12 meter per second enough. Okay? Don't need convert to kilometer per hour. Are you understand? Ajay, Nivedya, are are understand this question? Third third question. Example 17.3. Class sir, are you okay? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Okay, okay. Very simple question. Already you studied in twelve hundred. Okay. Now read this question. Now read this question. Last question. Seventeen point four. On turning a corner, a motorist rushing at twenty meter per second finds a child on the road fifty meter ahead. He instantly stops the engine and applies brakes so as to stop the car within 10 meter of the child. Calculate retardation and second is time required to stop the car. Okay, so this is a general problem. Suppose just imagine you are motorist. You are you are motorist. You are going through bike. Just imagine everyone. You are everyone going through by very rushing, high speed. You are rushing. 20 meter per second. That is what is the initial velocity. Students, whenever the car come some speed given, it take as initial velocity. So the 20 meter per second, you are start already started. So already started coming with you are coming with some speed. So initial velocity 20 meter per second. Now suppose you are uh, bike is going into the easier road. You have seen some child or baby. You are uh, 10 meter before. You have seen uh, one child. Okay. Find a child, 
on the road 50 meter ahead 50 meter away you already have you have seen the, the child okay now you are suppose you want stop the engine suppose you are slowing you know whenever you see any bulls or any any cow is on the road no we are reduce the speed no we are applying brake we are we are applying we are reduce the speed then we are crossing okay we are not stopping always so you have seen 50 meter away okay you instantly stop the brakes so as to stop the car within 10 meter of the child so you decided already you decided 50 meter you have seen now you reached 10 meter students now you reached before 10 meter you have seen so you reached 10 meter so how what is the dollar balance distance 50 minus 10 okay so 50 minus 10 40 meter you traveled distance traveled by car you traveled 40 meter what you asked today calculate the retardation time record to stop the car calculate the retardation and the time record to stop the car what is retardation you are reduce the speed no students when you are reduce the speed is called that is the axis decreases the speed decreases with time is called retardation so they asked negative acceleration and the time record to stop the car okay so in is 20 meter per second why the final velocity taken zero students why they they, they have taken final velocity zero because you are going to stop no we are applying brake okay final velocity zero because the car is stopped the distance out by car 50 minus 10 50 meter away you have seen the child when he reached 10 meter he decided to stop no therefore 50 minus 10 40 meter he traveled okay now we know no v squared equal to u squared plus 2as why final is zero because you are you, are, you have stopped 10 meter before the child because if you want to stop no you see the always you see the back of the car keep away 10 meter distance like that before 10 meter you stopped you are going to stop you assume that's why final is zero so initial speed let us see 20 meter per second 20 meter per second initial speed plus 2 into a into 40 you travel the distance 50 minus 10 that will be 40 okay after simplification you got access equal to minus 5 students minus acceleration minus only no when you are minus acceleration minus is called retardation that is speed decreases when acceleration value is negative it is it means retardation that is negative acceleration so first a more what is second time time record to stop the car time record to stop the car we know v equal to u plus 80 no students we know v equal to u plus 80 final set zero in velocity already 20 that is your, your bike is coming with speed 20 what is acceleration minus 5 therefore t equal to 4 seconds so you travel the distance for 40 meter see you travel the distance for 40 meter how much time taken how much time taken 4 seconds okay any question see this question is some little bit some so you need some general knowledge a motor is coming with a 20 meter per second that is in velocity you find a child on the road 50 meter you get away 50 meter you, you have found one child is crossing so at before 10 minutes before 10 meter you stop the vehicle students before 10 meter of the child you stop the vehicle so how much distance traveled 50 minus 10 40 meter students you have to use your brain 40 meter traveled so on the final speed in a automatically zero no you stopped it see in the question the place the brake to stop the cars to stop the car comes to rest stop the car means comes to rest final set zero they ask what is the retardation that is negative acceleration what is the time required so we know u v yes what is the third equation v squared equal to u squared plus 2 a s no so final speed zero final velocity in sales velocity 20 plus 2 into a into 40 meter the answer minus minus 5 meter per second the minus means negative acceleration and we know time what is a v equal to u plus 80 no students v equal to u plus 80 v zero no comes to stop comes to rest the car is comes to rest this automatically take as a v zero then u in sales velocity 20 a already calculated minus 5 so time 4 seconds 
All of you understand class ref or understand this question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 